How do you know if you aren't her top choice? Many women settle for or marry men who aren't their first choice, and some are alpha widowed, which means they're still pining for a guy who left them. Someone they saw as higher value but couldn't lock down for a variety of reasons. I'd like to give you some actionable advice on this one so that you can start screening right away. It's difficult to untie the knot if you've been in a long-term relationship, or especially if you're married. I want to be with this guy, but he doesn't reciprocate and feels the same way. So to answer the question for the guys out there, how do I know I'm not her first choice? It's easier to tell if you're her first choice if she exhibits some of these behaviors, which will appear early on when you're dating women with high desire. She'll be on time. She'll call or text you without making the first attempt. She'll respond quickly. She'll enter your frame. She'll compliment your life rather than be the center of it. She'll ask you questions to get to know you. She'll buy you random gifts, make you meals. She'll closely follow you on social media. She'll message you first on a dating app. She'll always respond quickly and show up for dates with makeup and nice clothes, and enthusiastically be I can't say some of these things here because they're inappropriate for YouTube, so I'll leave them out. She will frequently initiate intimacy with you without prompting. This is how a woman acts when she has a genuine burning desire for a man. This is the man she considers to be her first choice. Women will never act in this manner and settle for a bit of pleb or a second choice if she does not have a genuine burning desire for the guy. The indifference category is an intriguing one because indifference is what most women will settle for when it comes to marriages and long-term relationships, where they don't pick their first choice, but rather their third or fourth choice. For example, much of this will resonate, perhaps even echo, but indifference appears as women reschedule and cancel on dates. They demand more than they can provide. They can be confrontational, especially in a long-term relationship, or if you are in a marriage where you were not her first choice. It's just like a snowball, the confrontation and bitchiness. It just seems like she's going to test you more and more, which is of course a competency test. When men are unsure that they are the best, women competency tests them. That they can do something simple like why can't you fix the lawnmower correctly, or why are you unable to clear the driveway of snow when there's a blizzard like what's the matter with you biddle bob so she'll let test you more frequently, she'll take a long time to respond to texts or phone calls. When you see her, she won't put much effort into her appearance. She will almost never ask you questions to trick you. This is early in the dating process. They will be slow to respond if you message them on dating apps. They'll most likely be days of complete absence. Chad is blowing out her back while she is getting her back blown out. If you have a preference for something in the bedroom and she says, well, I don't do that or that's not something that I like to do, always add with you at the end of it because that's really what she's saying in her head, because she'll do it with another guy that she has high desire for, that she's enthusiastic about, and she'll also rarely initiate lovemaking. These are typically the men who end up in loveless marriages where they become extremely frustrated, so hopefully that clarifies things. Don't forget to hit the like button to help spread the word about this video. Thank you for taking your daily dose of red pills, and remember that a red pill a day keeps bad poker hands away. So have a good rest of your day and cheers.